Hello everyone, this is Soundrout, and in this video, I am going to be showing you, dear viewer, how you can create your own custom emojis inside of Discord. So, of course, in Discord, emojis are a huge part of how you communicate with your fellow Discordians. Is that how you say it? Anyway, there are plenty in my server. As you can see, we have a ton of emojis for you to express your feelings with other people, whether it be dancing or tipping your hat or, I don't know, uh, still dancing with this triangle guy. Thank you. These were all taken from a website where you can gather these emojis. Link below, by the way. And it's completely free, by the way. You can just put these in your server. But it's nice to have your own custom emojis, like, for example, these letters right here for my Nitro Boosters, where you can spell any word using the Sounds World alphabet. It's pretty cool. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to do exactly this and make your own emojis that you can put in your server. You know, it's good to make your server unique so lots of people will like it. I mean, who knows, maybe you'll get more activity in your server because there's more people that like your emojis or something. Uh, so without further ado, let's head into GIMP 2.1. This is the program that I will be using and it's completely free. You can use this. This is all that you need to make your favorite emojis. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. Obviously, it's completely free to download and it works really well. It's basically Photoshop, but free. It's awesome. And it's also not pirated, so there's that. So when you come in here, this is the thing you're probably gonna see. If not, you can always adjust your windows and stuff and tools. So you're gonna wanna go here to File and then New, and this will allow you to choose the size of your emoji. Now, I would recommend 128 by 128, because all emojis are square. Uh, it doesn't matter how you put them, they're always going to be a square shape. So this is a pretty small size because emojis are small, obviously. And this will allow you to get some high quality emojis for yourself. So we'll go ahead and delete that to make it transparent. So whatever is inside here will show up as basically nothing on the Discord app. And this is where you can start designing your emoji right here. So let's say you want like a smiley face. So you can use the circle tool. And there we go, it fills in a nice circle here. You can select a kind of skin color. Uh, like yellow is a pretty good emoji color you can choose. There we go, I have a emoji circle thing. Okay, all right, now let's go ahead and add some eyes. All right, I'm adding in eyes, I'll, I've created one. Duplicate that, so you can have two eyes. Probably not gonna be perfectly symmetrical there. It's as good as I can see it right now. All right, all right. Let's give him a little grin right there. There he's—he's he's a happy boy, as you can see. Uh, we'll give him some angry emoji eyes things. And just for a finishing touch, uh, let's add a little bit of a vignette. This will make it look a little bit more professional. There we go. Nice. Okay, when you finish your emoji, it's really simple. You just have to go here and export and save your emoji, whatever you want it to be. All right, smirking emoji .png. sounds good and then just click export and you're done. All right, now that you've exported your emoji, you can go back into Discord. Here we are on a test server. So let's go to the emoji section, upload emoji. And once you go to upload, you'll see it's right here, the one that you saved in whatever file you have. And boom, it's done. Smirking emoji has been added to your server. So let's try it out. Look at that. Beautiful. What an amazing emoji I made. Keep in mind there is a cap of 50 emojis without any boosts. And then if you get to level 1, which is 2 boosts, you will gain 50 emoji slots, and then another 50, and then another 100. So you can have 250 total emojis in your server, which is crazy, honestly. Like, before this cap existed, you could only have 50. Oh, what's that I hear? You want to make gifts? Oh, well, that's a bit more complicated. So you're going to need another program uh, and editing software. So I'm going to be using Vegas Pro. This is extremely expensive. You can also get it for free, but that's illegal. So I wouldn't recommend doing that. So if you have your own editing software, I mean, Filmora, Adobe, Premiere Pro, those will all work pretty well. Uh, anything works. I mean, even Windows Movie Maker, which is not available anymore. It was so good. So if you have one of these, you can create your own GIF emojis, but it's a bit more complicated. So let's head into here and show you how it's done. So we've opened up Vegas Pro. 
So uh, let's import some text just to show you. So we're gonna go over to video properties here. You could probably find it in your own editing software. You have to change the size to the emoji so that it fits correctly. So there we go, apply. And now it's pretty small here as you can see. So let's change the size of this to a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. I'm just gonna make it say hello. So this will be very quick. I don't wanna make it too big of a file. So let's copy that, add an E, copy that, and so on until I've made it say hello. Okay, so if we play this, you can see it slowly spells hello for you. So that's what I want the GIF to be. Okay, so this is what our GIF is gonna look like, but unfortunately, uh, the background is transparent, which means all the letters are gonna blend together and it won't look good. So we're gonna make a little background here. Let's use gray, I think that'll look pretty cool. <laughs> Let's change it to red, Look, it looks like it's angry. This is an epic GIF right here, actually, I love it. All right, now you can render it. Make sure you select image sequence here and then select PNG because it's the best supported format for it. And when you render it, make sure to render into a folder because otherwise you're gonna have tons of images plaguing your desktop or wherever it's rendering to. So you wanna keep it nice and contained, okay? So I've just chosen this little folder here and render, boom, it's done. So as you can see right in here, I have a ton of images. All these images will stitch together to create our GIF. You can close Vegas or whatever editing program you have and open up GIMP. We're using GIMP again. Awesome. So then what you want to do is go to a file and then open as letters like an onion. Click that. So in order to make it go the right way when you render, you should probably select by name so that the first image, the zero, appears at the top. Then you can do control A to select everything here and then you can open. There we go. And now it's going to input your images into GIMP. There we go. It's input all the images into GIMP and now we can render it fully as a GIF. So go to File, Export As, and then you should see the same folder here that you used before. And you can name it like Hello. Make sure you put .gif at the end. That's how you select a GIF. So then you can export. Make sure you tick as animation here, otherwise it won't work. Interlace also to make it look better. And boom, done. So let's head into the folder and this is our GIF right here. Let's open it. There we go. Hello. It's a bit slow, but it works. And then of course we go to the emoji section here and we can add it in. There we go. Hello. So let's try to use this emoji. Look at that. It's working. Oh my God, it's an angry hello emoji. <laughs> so. There you go, you got yourself a GIF inside of Discord, wow. And you made it yourself, isn't that awesome? So, that's it for this tutorial, I hope it was useful to you. It wasn't easy to make, so I would appreciate if you hit the like button to show your appreciation for this tutorial, if it did help you. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.